What's up guys, Dark Dally here playing Ghost Recon Wildlands and today I want to take a look at another SMG and I'm taking a look at an SMG that most people really never use and that's the 9mm C1 and there's a very good reason why I'm looking at this SMG and that's because there's some very extraordinary things about it. The stats on it are not very good. Let's go ahead, let's just, let's select it here and let's compare it against, let's compare it against the MP7 because that's the last, that's the last SMG I tested and we all know the MP7 is really good. The MP7 is, it's a PDW and like the other ones, it has really high damage and penetration compared to other SMGs. So right here, when we look at the stats, let's just jump right into this. When we look at the stats, we can see, now these are both modified. These are not stock. They're modified the best they can be. And that's kind of the thing. But when you look here, you see the MP7 dwarfs the C1's stats. All right, so what can we do to the nine millimeter C1? Well, really not much. You can't change the buttstock. You can't change the trigger. You can't change the magazine. All you can do is put different optics and give it a long barrel. So not a very fair comparison, really, to compare this against other SMGs, but that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to take this and compare it straight across to the MP7. The reason is because this gun is a diamond in the rough. It truly, truly is. Let's have a look at a couple of interesting things first, and then we're going to do a bullet drop comparison and damage comparison against Unidad targets wearing bulletproof vests. I've been doing my damage testing out here against convoys that I've stopped at range, but I decided this time we're going to test the damage on Unidad targets. It's a little trickier, but I think it's a better test because they wear vests and they're harder targets to kill than Santa Blanca. Now, I'm doing all the testing on extreme difficulty. As you can see right here, we're on extreme. I'm testing them on extreme because I don't have them at the same level and tier mode, so that would not be a fair test, so we're testing in extreme. Now, let's call in a vehicle. Let's call in my own, one of my own vehicles right here. This is, this is a better, uh, better standard for testing right here. Let's call in one of my own vehicles, and let's see how many bullets does it take with an MP7 to kill this vehicle. We're just going to shoot him in the door. Let's see. Oh, we got some smoke. Yeah, there's a convoy right there. Let's get this done here. And there we go. So uh, I got 12 rounds left. So it took 18 rounds to kill that truck with the MP7. All right. Let's test the same thing with the C1. And just see. I mean, the MP7, like most SMGs, its stats are much, much higher than the C1. So it should be no contest. The uh, C1 should take way more than 18 bullets to kill a car. Correct? I mean, right? Okay, so we let the convoy pass. Let's go ahead. Let's call in another vehicle here. Again, same exact vehicle. It's going to have my vehicle shield skill applied to it. So, you know, these are tougher than regular vehicles, of course. And, of course, this character, yeah, is, she's level 30 and has all of the skills, bonus medals, etc. Okay, so same thing. So, let's uh, well, let's see with the C1. Let's see how many shots it takes. We have a 34-round magazine. It kind of has an odd-sized magazine. So, we're starting with 34 rounds. And let's see. Oh, she's smoking. 11. It took 11 rounds as opposed to 18. Interesting. Now, what does vehicle damage matter? Well, like I said, we're going to test this against Unidad targets as well. I just want to show that with only 11 rounds, which is less than one third of this thing's magazine, we can drop one of my own vehicles. So next up, what we're going to do is let's that's the bullet drop. Let's go ahead. Let's do that. And then we're going to hit the damage tests. So then we're going to test these on damage directly against Unidad targets with body shots and see which is best. Why would I do this? Well, actually, this kind of... I, I do want to mention this. This came from a viewer request, honestly, several months ago. And I'm really sorry it took me this long to get to you. But it, it was brought up to me that the C1, the stats lie on it. It's actually really, really good. Of course, you can't suppress it. You really can't do much with it. That's the thing. You can't do much with it. But it does come with a good magazine. Well, that's about all there is to it. Yeah, you really can't do much else with it. This poor this poor little weapon is, is really forgotten. You can't do much with it. Well, but, okay, let's let's keep going. So we can see it kills a car much quicker than the MP7. I know that, that's pretty curious. Well, let, how, how about this? Let's go ahead. Let's, let's uh, just give me one more minute here, guys. Let's try it against the P90. This has probably the best overall stats of any smg let's go ahead let's modify it as well let's go ahead and let's get everything fully modified let's just let's pick some optics for it um let's not that this is going to affect anything let's go ahead and put a long barrel on it let's put a compensator on as well so you can't even put a compensator on the c1 so here we got a p90 modified up all the way let's just try the same thing i mean as long as we're standing right here let's call another truck and let's see 
There we go. It appeared right here. How lucky is that? All right. So let's try the P90. So we got 50 rounds in the magazine starting off. Let's just keep going here. Oh, we got smoke. There we go. It took 15 rounds. So it took 18 rounds with the MP7. It took 15 with the P90, which has the probably the best stats of any of the SMGs. And yet the C1, the little lonely 9mm, these are not 9mm rounds. These are PDW rounds here, you know. And the little 9mm C1 somehow takes, yeah, about two-thirds as many. All right, guys, let's go ahead. Let's check the bullet drop. And then I am really curious. Let's see how this does against actual enemies. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's have a look at its bullet drop compared to, well, let's compare it to the MP7 again because that's the last SMG that I've tested, and it's a very good SMG. So let's go ahead and compare bullet drop. Now I have both of these weapons modified um, the best they can be. Of course, the C1 simply can't be modified <laughs> much at all. But what I can do to it, I've done. And the same with the MP7. Of course, the MP7, like other SMGs, can actually take a lot of parts. But here, all I could do was just put the long barrel on it. Well, okay. So let's test the bullet drop and see what we get. I'll just test these against one another at 200 meters. All right. So here's our shot with the C1, and we are hitting, ah, right there. We're hitting right there, okay? Let's go ahead, let's swap to the MP7 and see what we get. I'm kind of curious to see. I haven't done any submachine gun bullet drop, save for what I did in the last MP7 video. And I don't really expect there to be much difference, but, you know, just, again, for points of comparison, here's what we've got here. I've got this thing modified really the best that it can be. So let's go ahead, let's, you know, let's line these up and let's see what we get here with the MP7. All right, and there's our shot with the MP7. Same target, same distance. Let's see what we get. Yeah, they look right about the same. Yeah, they're right about the same. That was just a discrepancy in aiming. So they really, they have the same bullet drop. So what I'm saying is you can't do much with the C1, but you can put different optics on it. And when you, you know, and uh, when you aim... It's going to be adjusting the same as you would adjust with probably any other SMG. All right, so first up here we have the MP7, and it performed pretty well. Seems to be taking about five, six shots or so per enemy. Note that some of these are critical hits and some are not. Some are headshots. So this is why I did this a lot of times. I, did, I shot a lot of these enemies to get as much data as I could. Watching this, the MP7 did pretty good. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm watching it. I'm watching the footage now. Okay, that was a headshot. That was a headshot. Yeah, there's another headshot. So you can't count all of these. Okay, again, so we're in extreme. This is taking about five to six shots. Thereabouts per guy. Again, most are body shots. There's a headshot here and there. There's a crit here and there, you know, etc. Okay, now let's have a look at the C1. So here's the C1. Bam. Two shots. <laughs> Three shots. You know, two shots. And that's just how it's going the whole time. Granted, again, some are headshots, some are crits. But this dispatches, oh my god, so everything so much quicker. It just it just drops them. I'm not saying this is a better weapon, but when I did this test, I I saw the, the comparison clear as day before I even came through and viewed the footage as I am right now. I'm watching it with you guys right now. And this thing is consistently dropping them in two, three bullets. There's one that takes uh, four. There's one up here a little bit that's real clear. It's really clear. It takes four non-critical shots. You can tell critical or... or uh, Non-critical because of the, the shape of the crosshair. A non-critical shot is just four, just the four lines. You're right there, right there? That guy, yeah. That guy took four clean, clear shots. And right here, look at this. This thing dispatches this entire car full, of, a car full of Unidad pulled up. And this thing just mows through them and dispatches them each with, what, like maximum three per shot, three per, three per guy, sorry. So that's what we've got here, guys. All right, so here we've pretty much tested just about everything, and we've done it pretty thoroughly. Now... Damage testing is kind of hard to do, but I think that we've done a good job of it today. We tested versus vehicles, but okay, what does that really matter? But then we tested directly against alerted Unidad enemies, and we clearly saw the C1 took an average of about three shots per enemy to kill, whereas the MP7, one of the highest damage of the SMGs, was taken around between four, five, and six shots. So it's really clear. This, is, this was really amazing. It's really clear that this is... The stats lie. The stats lie. And look, I, I can't say for sure until I've compared all of them, you know, completely empirically against one another. However, when we look at the stats again, let's let's look at the stats against the MP7. 
Yeah. Let's look at the stats against the P90. Yeah. The other highest damage, the SR635. Actually, compare the stats against any SMG, and you're going to see a lot of green because they're all, stats-wise, way, way better. But none of that seems to matter because the bottom line is it kills vehicles quicker. It kills enemies with fewer shots. It has a decent magazine. However, you can't suppress it. You can't put many other parts on it, and it has a really slow rate of fire. But I guess the take home here is that the stats are lying. This is a really, really powerful weapon. It's much more than it appears, and there's likely many more weapons like this in the game that we've yet to discover. But here's one for you right here, guys. Take all this as you will. I was really surprised when I began testing this. Thank you to the, my viewers for alerting me to this and letting me know, hey, this gun is way more powerful than it says it is. And so I took it out and tested it, and sure enough, guys, tell me what you think in the comments below. This was a really interesting test. I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, also, tell me what you think of my new damage testing. The convoy is easier, but testing against Unidad enemies who are alerted with bulletproof vests, etc. You know, they have more armor. I think that's just a better way to do damage testing. It's a little trickier, but we got some really, really, we got really solid evidence right there. There's no range to take into account. There's no, you know, they're right in front of you, and I can shoot them right in the chest. All right, guys, so... Tell me what you think about all of this. I'm pretty happy. This is uh, this is really interesting. Now, will I be using the C1? No, probably not. It's not my style of gun. But, damn. <laughs> damn. Those were the test results, right? All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a real pleasure. I'm Dark Dally, and I will catch you guys next time.